Hello and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia, episode 4. We are here at Died on Hold. Um, we were hoping to get through and not have to, you know, not get any into any confrontations. Um, but before we do that, again, my name is Geo, also known as the Nerd Basement from SwitchRPG.com. Please give us a visit if you can. All right, let's uh, let's move forward and maybe talk to a few people. This is the storage for the hold. Fortune's market manages the warehouse. It's really messy, so I'd prefer you not go in. Come on, I won't judge you. You'd see my room, it's a disaster. Whatever. Hey, little child. What else we got here? Is this guy's name Cabin? Below are lodging facilities for travelers through the hold. It's 100 gold a night. Would you like to stay? No, thanks. If you find yourself weary, come back anytime. Our facilities may only be tents, but it beats camping out on the road. Okay, yeah, sure does. Uh, what do you guys got to say? Ugh, I'm so tired. I don't want to sleep in a tent anymore. I want a nice soft bed. I always said I'd like to go out of the city just once. Now I see that just once is enough. All right, well, let's see if, oh, what happened? What'd I get into already? Are we getting attacked? Oh boy. Something is going down. Hurry up. A lot of people. Arrows, bring the arrows. Shut the gate now. Damn it. What are they doing here this time of the year? What is it? Is it the White Walkers? The monsters will fall back if we stop the main charge. Remember your training. It's the White Walkers. No, I was wrong. Could have been. Oh no. Okay, they're all in. Close it up. Hold the gate. There's still more. Oh boy. There are there are always more. Are all those monsters? We just left the capital and things are already getting crazy. I know. That's it. I'm cursed. I know it. It could just be him. <gasps> the gate! Oh boy. What the hell? Cut it out! No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say this. I I was I was a veterinary technician for almost ten years. And I don't even think you need to be a veterinary technician, but that that thing around his tail, that's not sanitary. Not sanitary at all. But I digress. Estelle, you wait over uh, hey, hey! Oh wow. Help the girl. Whatever you say. P please I can't get up. Help! The monsters! The mo Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, teddy bear. Hey, I can, I can stand. Go in the hold. Hurry. It's just a doll. Yuri! Oh, 
man. That was that was very close. How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. All for a doll. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. <laughs> a dog is awesome. I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Mm -hmm. Couldn't they install a barrier blastia here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the Blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. Nope. You two there. I'd like to have a word with you. So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine. Who's that? How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think. You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? Oh, is this a is this a crossover game? This is a crossover game. I knew it. Monster Hunter World and Tales of Vesperia. They Stop. did it. They finally did it. Showing off his skills. Stay out of this. You knights cheated us out of a job back there. And now we're going to work off some steam. Hey, hold it. It's always the same with these guild idiots. Huh. Great. We'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor and we're so close. Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. We're going into a, another sewer. We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. All right, let's find another way through this. Doesn't look like it's going to be that way. The storeroom, perhaps? Guard station, let's get in there. Can I take any of this stuff? I mean, it's just lying around. What's that? Check. Pile of apples, it wouldn't be right. Okay. Guess we can't take any apples. Looks like there are plenty. That's all right. Oh, cool. You can go up. Ooh, chest. Apple Jill. Milk and egg. Oh, we're gonna be doing some cooking. Maybe some baking. Something. Wait, what's this way? Oh, we can go all the way around. There has to be something this way, right? Uh, can you move? Hey, now this is my own private VIP seat. Hurry up. Climb back down. Yeah, but I can move the stuff. Uh, well, it's like we're going back this way. Don't talk to her yet. We got to check out the other path. Oh, looks like we cannot grab those crates. No problem. Do some talking. Hey, hold on. Hello? Um, I beg your pardon, but what are you... Humanity at work. A tenacious attachment to this life. 
Huh? Why? Why must humans live the lives they do? They fight for a share of monopolized technology and hurt even those closest to them. Hmm? Are you talking about Blastia? This guy not human? <sighs> I can't speak for anyone else, but... It doesn't seem to me like there's any reason why we get dumped into the world. But once you're here, you just do what you can to give this life everything you've got. Perhaps there is truth in what you say. Hey! He's gone. What was that all about? Got me. They say the heat can make people go a little crazy. Is it hot? Where'd he go? He went this way. Hmm. Do we have to go back down? I guess so. Quite the barrier there with uh, with those barrels. No way we'd be able to get around those. All right, storeroom. Can I get in there now? Nope. Still can't get in there. Do we have to get involved here? I feel like we will. Ugh, it's enough to make my heart filled with hatred. Nothing. Nothing. How about you? I guess the relationship between the guilds and the Empire is the same everywhere. Who knows? I might even join one of the guilds tomorrow. The world is so uncertain. I, no, these guys are still the same. What about you, little, little boy? Girl? Hey, when are we going to get back on the wagon and go? I don't know. Do I know you? <laughs> uh, with the whole closed, there's no way to get to Halur. There isn't. There has to be. Nope. Wait a minute. Is this the Matrix? You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. I'm down. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Oh, snap. Watch your mouth. You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? Oh boy, what was that? Are they breaking through? You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. Oh, okay. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. The Lord of the Plains. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm going to get a second opinion. Who are you going to talk to? Um. My puppy's not happy. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. Might be. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? 
Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. Mm, interesting. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Go to the Quoi Woods that lie to the west of here. Okay. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Well, if they're going to potentially go that way anyways, why don't we get paid and kind of do it all Maybe together? Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. I guess she's not going that way. Estelle. I, I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Okay. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! That woman who gave us directions, she said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man, <laughs> giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the Knight's protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. Oh, we couldn't go down here before, right? Who are you? I may be used I may be used to traveling alone, but even I run away from the Lord of Plains. He's the Night King. Can we just call him for what he is? The Night King? Seriously. I'll probably have to rethink my plan my plans with the Lord of Plains and all. What do we got here? Is someone sleeping inside the tent? Alright, let's get Koi Woods, yes, got it. I'm actually interested, but I can't really do anything. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get the heck out of here. But, but first, we will do this. There we go. Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Oh man! Wow. All right, all right. That's a lot of them. How's this? What did you learn? Come on. Nice. Next week. Next week? But can you really? Yeah. Never mind. You can. You look very good swinging a sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight... I'll end up hurt myself, right? That's right. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Oh, oh really? Wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. Let's take this guy on. Let's work together. 
see if I remember how to do this. There we go. That was it. Holding down. Nice combinations. Nice combination work. What? What just happened? There were like three enemies there. Whatever. This way? Up here? Glass break. Sorry if I hurt you. Oh, block. Oh, block. Man, I really wish they had a health bar. I know I have to use that magic lens, but it's just annoying to use that. Cool. Oh, that guy is fast. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Yes. Not exactly. Yes, that's it. The Koi Woods. Oh, I'm in the woods now. Let's get this dog. Get quick! Has to be these new weapons. I think, anyways. Ooh, a new enemy type. I don't want to play. Not right now, anyways. Koi Woods. A forest in a place like this can only mean the Koi. Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? It's fine by me, but what about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. Depends, really. Right? Different frogs eat different things. Oh, whatever. Or snakes. Some snakes eat different things as well. Let's work together. We were alone. Ouch. Doing all right. Level up, bud. Nice. What are you? Um, yeah, I just want to make double check something. Equipment, do do do. Skills. Those kind of update. Oh, sorry. It's back step. I can do that. All right. Um, arts. I just want to make sure I don't have to level out anything up. I don't want to miss anything. Don't get sloppy. Oh, what happened? Who learned what? Silver strike. Oh. We 
We're done. Man, she is so helpful. So helpful. My God. I feel power running all through my body. I don't think I'll ever let her go. I'll never let you go. Unless, obviously, something in the story makes her go away. Which I can only presume will happen, right? Switch targets. I got a little worked up. Hmm. I notice I can uh, swing my sword down if I actually press down. Didn't know that. Did not know that. Treasure. Oh. What's happening? Did you hear something? No, I see something. Right there. My feet feel cold all of a sudden. Oh. What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. Oh, brother. What's that? Looks like something fit in there. What's it doing in a place like this? Let's take a break. I I'm all right. Huh? What's this? <gasps> oh, jeez. Estelle! What the hell happened? That's bitter. Probably unsafe to eat as well. All right. Oh, my head feels a little. I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. It's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't. If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... What if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Take it easy. Here. Have this. It's really bitter. Ugh. Huh. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? <laughs> well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? That must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Dinner's ready. 
What did I make? Thank you for the meal. Uh, wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. What? Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Okay. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. A sandwich. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg. Which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. Okay. And there you are, a delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. I like how they, uh... I like how they do the, these tutorials like they did with the sword in the last town and then the cooking here. It's pretty cool. Well, shall we be going? <laughs> Woohoo! I learned how to make an egg sandwich. New recipes can be obtained when specific characters cook specific recipes. The higher a character's cooking level, the more likely they will discover a new recipe. The sandwich recipe you've just obtained may evolve into a new recipe. Try different ways to discover new recipes. Very cool. All right. We got ourselves a natural save point. Um, and just about that time where we're, I'm going to end the episode here before we trek through the rest of the forest here. Uh, so, yes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and join me next time. Bye.